Today we're looking at common issues that teachers have when they use Google quizzes or forms. First thing that we are going to have a look at is how to view Google quizzes or forms from students' perspective. The second thing that we're going to have a look at is how to view students' responses once they've completed the quiz. Third issue that some teachers have is that they cannot import grades from the Google quizzes that their students completed. The fourth issue that we're going to have a look at is how to assign one quiz to four different classes without all answers being mixed up. Let's have a look at the first issue. How do we view the Google quiz or form from the student's perspective? We're going to imagine that this is the quiz that I would like to assign to my students. The quiz is finished and I'm ready to send this quiz out. So how do I view this quiz from student's perspective? In other words, I want to see the quiz as if I'm a student. If you move your mouse to the top right corner to this preview sign, and click on it, form will take you to a participant's view. Now I'm viewing the quiz as if I'm a student. As you see, Google form now looks as if I'm taking a quiz. I'm not editing it. This is how you can view the quiz from the student's view. To get back to the editing form, move your mouse to the bottom right corner and click on the pencil icon. Once there, you're no longer previewing the quiz but you're editing the quiz as a teacher. You can switch to preview or go back to editing at any time. The second most popular question is, how do I view responses from my students? To be able to view answers to the questions submitted by the students, you need to be in the editing mode. If you open your quiz and you are in a preview mode, go back to editing sign in the bottom right corner. Once you've switched back to the editing screen, responses tab will appear at the top. Once you click on the responses bar, you have three options as to how responses may be viewed. You can either view summary or view responses by question or view individual responses. A summary will give you an overview of how your students answered your question. The summary view is best used when you are looking at multiple choice questions and you want to get a, a general sense of how your students did on a quiz. Once you've moved on to question, you can now view answers by questions. This is question number one. These two arrows will help you navigate between questions. Once you move to individual responses, you can see how each student answered the entire quiz. And the students tab is right here. Google form by default does not collect first and last name of the students. What it does, it collects email addresses that students use to complete the quiz. If emails of your students do not match their first and last names, make sure that the first question on your quiz is actually asking students for their first name and last name. So once you scroll down, their name will be here. The third issue that some teachers have is that they cannot import grade from the Google form onto their gradebook in Google Classroom. I'll show you what I mean. What normally happens if you go to classwork and click create and quiz assignment, you will see grade importing feature. And then if this feature is on and once some of your students complete the quiz, uh, this is a, a sample quiz. And if I click on view assignment, I can now import grades and Google Classroom will automatically take the score from the Google form and import it right here into the points. This feature of importing grades only works if you have a G Suite and both you and your students are under one domain. In our case, for example, we have a G Suite for our school and myself and my students using the same domain name. If on the other hand, your students are using their personal accounts and you are using your personal accounts, import grades feature will not be available for you. The next problem, how to assign the same quiz to multiple classes. Problem that you might have encountered in the past is when you create quiz assignment, uh, the quiz assignment will automatically generate a blank quiz. Uh, you can now click on this quiz, edit this quiz. Now go back to your Google Classroom and under four, assign four, you select multiple classes. And now this is where the problem stems from. When you create one quiz and you assign the same quiz for multiple classes, all these classes will be completing this quiz and all answers will be collected under this quiz. So how do we assign the same quiz to multiple classes? I'm going to suggest one strategy that worked for me and I hope it will work for you as well. 
for this strategy to work, you need to know how to work with Google Drive. The simplest way to access your Google Drive is to open google.com, uh, click on this three by three sign, uh, which will bring you to Google Apps and click on Drive. The second thing you wanna do is create a folder where your quizzes will be stored. Now, to create a new folder, click on New, then Folder. Give your folder name. Now I have my folder here. Now open this folder. Uh, now let's imagine that um, I'm an English teacher and I teach uh, three classes and I would like to assign the same quiz for all my classes. So what I will do, I will create a new folder and give it a name. Now once I'm inside this folder, I'm actually going to create my quizzes here. To create a quiz or a Google form, uh, click on New, More, Google Form. A new form has been generated. Make sure that your form's name matches the class that you are assigning this form to. This form is going to be for English 7A. Now what I will do now, I will create a um, form, I will create questions and so forth. So once your form is ready, uh, simply navigate to the top and close this form. I have now an English 7A quiz. Now, depending on how many classes you have, you might wanna make a copy of 7A. To make a copy, uh, click on this file then right click, make a copy. This will make a copy of a 7A. Uh, so these two forms now identical, uh, only the name is different. To rename this, click on right click and rename. Now this form is going to be for 7B. Now I have a form for 7A, I have form for 7B. Now click on 7B, make a copy. Now I have a copy of 7B, let's rename it. It's going to be our English 7, English 7C. So now I have three forms that are absolutely identical, only the name is different. Now we're gonna imagine that my first Google Classroom is 7A. Once I'm in 7A, I'm gonna to go to Classwork, click Create, click Quiz Assignment, but instead of using the blank quiz that has been generated automatically, I'm gonna close it and click Add, go to my Google Drive, if you've edited your quizzes recently, then quizzes will be here. If you've edited your quizzes a long time ago and you want to find them on your drive, click My Drive and find the folder that we've just created. We name our folder Google Forms and Quizzes. Once there, make sure you find the quiz for 7A. This is 7A and click Add. Once you've attached 7A, make sure that you assign the 7A only for 7A. I know it says my first Google Classroom, but we're imagining that this is English 7A Google Classroom. Give it a name. So once you've given a title to your Google form, you can assign. We'll need to do the same for 7B and 7C. Let's imagine that my task class one is my 7B. I will go to classwork. I will click create, quiz assignment. I will give my quiz a title. Delete the blank quiz because we already have quiz for 7B. Add Google Drive. Because I've only recently edited 7B, I can see it in my recent. Click on 7B, add. Now my 7B has quiz. Four, I'm gonna select 7B. Well, I don't have 7B, but we're gonna imagine task class one is 7B. Put in instructions and assign and do the same for other classes. So this is how you assign the same quiz for multiple classes. Let's see what we've learned today. First, you've learned how to view Google quiz or form from student's perspective. You also learned how to view students' responses to your quiz or Google form. You've learned how to use import grades function and why it might not be working for you. And finally, you've learned how to assign Google quiz to different classes. Thank you for your time. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.